Hello everyone, and I hope you're all well. My name is Tanner Dajne, and I'm the host of Self-Sabotage Solutions. On this podcast, it's my opportunity and my pleasure to be able to share everything I know about self-sabotage so that you can overcome self-sabotage in your life. And today we're going to be talking about a certain self-sabotage personality type because there's, there's several different personality types and this one is very common. I know this one actually applied to me in my life. And often many of us had different many forms of personality types that we associate with and that we take on so that we can fit in with society, um, so that we um, don't get outcasted, so that we can survive, essentially. It's a survival coping mechanism that we use as children to get through life and get to our adult years that many of us actually hold on to even when we are adults, because we don't know how to let go and we don't even realize we're actually holding on to these personality types. So this personality type I'm going to be talking about is actually the joker or the class clown. So I think all of us kind of uh, can probably think through our life and see someone who is fits this role. There's the person who's always joking, always making a fool of themselves. You know, it doesn't matter if they hurt themselves. They just want everyone to laugh, right? And their main goal for doing this is that they, they get attention and they grants favor with everyone else. So essentially, they, they, are, they allows them to fit in. And this is really important for humans in general, um, especially for kids, because, you know, as we're kids, we don't really have any ways of defending ourselves for, um, for keeping ourselves alive, for, you know, giving us food, giving ourselves shelter. We rely on other people for doing that for us when we are kids. And so these um, survival mechanisms, these um, personality types that we take on are extremely important. Now, the thing is that surviving doesn't always mean thriving. And we, we really see that um, mean something when we become adults, because so many of us are holding on to these personality types still when we are adults. And, you know, when we're adults, just surviving usually isn't enough, right? So many of us are in a, in a life that we, we are surviving in, right? We're, we're working in a job that we maybe don't like, but we're, we're, we're making it through. We're living paycheck to paycheck. We're eating food that is just leaving us um, not feeling well. We have low energy. We have back pains. We have all sorts of pains. We are, you know, um, always looking forward to the weekend and then the weekend's over too short or too soon. And then all of a sudden it's the, it's the week again and we have to start the week all over, right? We work all day and we um, do our thing for a couple hours and go to bed and wake up and do the same exact thing day in and day out. And we're just surviving, really. We're not really moving forward in life. We're not expanding. We're not enjoying and loving every part of life. We are just surviving. And that's not the same thing as thriving. We want to be able to really be loving life. We want to be able to be moving forward towards our goals and our dreams. We want to be happy. We want to be healthy. We want to be wealthy. We want to have good relationships, right? I think all of us want these things, but so many of us are stuck in this trap of self-sabotage. And so this is why I want to talk about this personality type. You know, and I've already talked about some other personality types as well. Um, I think I talked about the the busy B one. It wasn't necessarily in my podcast or my, in one of my episodes for my podcast. It was actually before I started the, the episodes for the podcast. So maybe I'll, I'll do another one about it. But if you want to find it, I'll actually link it. Um, below in the description so you guys can find it um, that if it is you um, so yeah let's and I've talked about the people pleaser as well so those are two pretty common ones and remember that sometimes we we, we meet multiple things so like I, I was a people pleaser um, plus I was also this this joker self-sabotage type so remember it's it's developed because it's a survival mechanism we use as kids to fit in Right. It gets us attention, grants us favor with the tribe, with our parents, with our friends, um, with society in general. Right. So, you know. Why is it harmful? Because I think a lot of people understand what this type is, what the, the, the Joker personality type is. Right. It's always making a fool of yourself, even at your own expense, making jokes at your own expense. And I kind of did a small video about this the other day. Um, where, you know, just making jokes at your own expense and not thinking anything is wrong with it, you know, willing to hurt yourself so people laugh, you know, there is, you know, this is part of the reason why it's actually harmful because 
we get to the point where pleasing and this kind of mixes into the people pleasing right because we are real willing to hurt ourselves we're willing to put ourselves down so that other people will laugh right well, we're trying to please others so badly we're trying to fit in so badly that we're willing to attack ourselves in a way we're willing to abuse ourselves and we're willing to belittle ourselves so that others will laugh and then you know be like oh yeah you whatever right so you know in a way the joke or personality type um in in most situations is actually a way of helping us play small so that we we aren't seen as a threat right because oftentimes when you a lot of people who i've talked to who you know become very successful uh, very healthy very wealthy and i've kind of experienced this somewhat in my life uh, where people don't feel comfortable around you as often. Uh, like when you, let's say you are always eating healthy and someone who just, a bunch of people just eat really unhealthy and, you know, they don't feel as comfortable around you uh, because they start, they start to realize that, hey, maybe I'm not eating the way I should be, but they don't want to really admit that. So instead of that, they just, they just start avoiding you. They start to um, look down on you as someone who's picky, someone who, um, it's too restrictive in their life, right? I, I've heard this so often. You're way too restrictive in your life. How do you even enjoy life? But the funny thing is I really enjoy my life. I really enjoy eating the way I do because it makes me feel so good. But, you know, that's just an example of how we kind of play small so that other people can fit it, other people can accept us, right? If, if we're making a fool of ourselves, then that person might be like, oh, okay, that's okay. You know, they're making a fool of themselves. This person's cool. I can fit in with them. Um, you know, I don't feel um, I don't feel intimidated by them. I don't feel like there's any threat with this person because they're 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 a fool. They they like to make fun of themselves. They like to joke around, and it's funny. And you know, most people like humor. Uh, that's that's it's totally fine to be humorous and to have um, you know funny comments and things like that. You know, I I still am am very humorous. I try to be humorous, um, and you know sometimes I still probably take it into that class clown, joker personality type, and I have to remind myself, well, this is not you know who I am. I am you know a confident person. I don't need to make myself look smaller. I don't need to try to fit in with everyone just by being funny. If I want, you know, if it's a good opportunity to be funny, that's one thing. And I don't have to put myself down. Then that's another thing. Um, as long as I don't have to, you know, put myself down or, um, you know, make a joke at my own expense, then that's, that's totally fine to make a joke um, every once in a while. But, you know, there's certain situations where you need to be serious and you need to be seen as a person who can be taken serious. You know, this is something I noticed in my life as well, too, because I was always seen as like the funny person. I was always seen um, as like the joker, um, you know, and a lot of people didn't really see me as a serious person. So when I started doing um, this coaching when I started doing you know taking myself more seriously I found a lot of people had a hard time believing it a lot of people didn't think that I could be the serious person right um, but that's the thing that's why it's harmful because it leads us down a path to uh, be seen as this kind of joker this kind of harmful this kind of person who's always willing to uh, you know make fun of themselves or make light of a situation or, you know, just distract everyone instead of actually focusing on the root problem, you know, always making a joke about it instead of actually addressing what's going on. And then, you know, another way that this joker personality type can actually harm us is if we really need to be serious in a situation, sometimes we, 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 we don't find that opportunity or we, you know, we, we might need to be very serious in a situation, but then we, we, we add in that joker personality and we, we actually ruin that opportunity for us. So maybe I add like an interview or maybe add something like that um, where it needs to be really a serious thing or like a conversation with your, with your, um, with your partner. And it's a very serious conversation and you make fun of it or you make it, try to make a joke. Right. But they're not going to think it's funny because it's a very serious you know, talk maybe it's about cheating or uh, who knows right but it could be a bunch about a bunch of different things but you guys know what i'm talking about you we we need to be able to be serious in a lot of different situations and if we're always 
reverting and uh, resorting to being the Joker, then that can lead us down some, some paths where we may be missing out on opportunities. We may be missing out on the things that could be helping us move forward in life. And then, you know, another thing is like, oftentimes the Joker just kind of sees everything as a joke. And um, so they, they don't take seriously needing to make changes. They just make a joke out of it and then they move on, right? So they, they know, they probably deep down know they need to start eating healthier. They know they need to start moving towards the life that they want. But instead of doing that, they just make a joke out of it and move on and distract themselves and say, oh, it's going to be whatever, right? But, you know, I, I used to do that all the time. Oh, I, you know, whatever happens, happens. And I'm just going to let it happen. I'm just going to enjoy myself. I'm going to YOLO. You, you only live once. I'm going to go party and drink and, um, you know, make a fool of myself. It doesn't, I don't care, right? It's, it's just going to happen. I can't control it. But a lot of the things I would tell myself that for, I actually had a lot of control over. And when I didn't take any actions towards it, it was meaning that I was choosing not to pr pursue my goals or my dreams. And it was that big act of self-sabotage because it left me exactly where I was. It kept me stuck where I was instead of moving forward. And it kept me stuck in my pain, it kept me stuck in a life that I didn't want to be living anymore. So this is why I really wanted to talk to you guys about this personality type because I think a lot of people are stuck into it. Now let's kind of um, also talk about now, why is it so common and why is it even uh, it's almost reinforced in our society? So there's so many movies and TV shows where they're acting like complete clowns and buffoons and people think it's really funny. And, you know, I'm personally one of those people who like a lot of those those movies. And I've had to restrain myself from watching a lot of them because I find when I start watching those, I start to get much more into this Joker personality type because remember, we as humans are imitative learners. We like to mimic the things around us. We are mimickers because that's a way, another way for us to be able to fit in. So when we are constantly seeing, you know, like stepbrothers, um, Talladega Knights, you know, a lot of these ones are Will, Will Ferrell ones, of course. Uh, but you know what I mean? Like a lot of those movies where they're just making jokes about themselves, like um, Bad Grandpa, I think it is, or... Um, and there's there's like 21 Jump Street. There's a lot of different movies where there's kind of making fools of themselves. And then we all think it's so funny. Right. And so our mind, our subconscious mind is like, whoa, everyone loves this person. Everyone in the movie theater is laughing at this. Everyone, you know, I'm laughing at this. You know, Tanner, Tanner and my subconscious mind is thinking you know, Tanner is consciously laughing about this right now. His friends are consciously laughing about this. His family is consciously laughing about this. It's a very highly rated movie. That means a lot of other people like it as well. So your subconscious mind is taking notes of that and saying, hey, you know, joking is a great way to fit in. A great way to please others, a great way to make it so we gain favor with the tribe, with gain favor with society so that we're not thrown out, so that not we're not so that we're not secluded, so that we can actually survive. So this is this is a big part of this personality type. Um, you know, we, we take it on as children, but then it's reinforced from the movies we watch. Right. And that's the way with a lot of self-sabotage. What you'll find if you start to listen to my podcast um, or my other episodes for my podcast is that, you know, the things that we watch, the things that we hear, the things that are surround us, uh, that are in our environment, doesn't matter if it's from the television, if it's from social media, if it's from um, our friends or a book or a video game or anything like that, they all have an effect on us on some level. And subconsciously, our subconscious is paying attention and taking notes and saying, what's the best way for me to fit in with society so that we can survive? Because remember, the subconscious, its main goal is survival. And it's such a great, amazing part of our brain and of our mind, um, and it's helped us stay alive as children. But, you know, the time comes when we're adults that then those things no longer serve us. They're holding us back. They're keeping us stuck, just like I was talking about with myself, right? I was ignoring the things I needed to do, and I was making a joke out of it. So I was even joking 
with myself to get over the, the bad situations, to get over those things. So joking is not always a, an effective way to deal with trauma, to deal with pain, to deal with you know serious situations. So this is where we need to start to address these things. So what you can start to doing if you find yourself, you are the joker, is to start analyzing the situations before you act a fool or even after you did. Just think about this. Did I, did I do that so I could fit in? And don't beat yourself up if you find out you did that, right? Because being negative on yourself doesn't help the situation. It only makes things worse. Instead, just be aware of the situation. We are conscious individuals. We have the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. You have to use your conscious mind to be aware of what you're doing. Consciously taking actions, consciously thinking about what you're doing, analyzing your actions, analyzing what's going on in your life. That's the most amazing thing about humans is that we can do that. We have a conscious mind. We can consciously think about these things. You can think, hey, was I just doing that to fit in? Was I just acting like a fool so I could fit in? Did I put myself down? Did I make myself smaller just so other people would, you know, like me more? So they didn't feel that intimidation by me. You know, and oftentimes there's a reason why we're trying to put ourselves down. Maybe we are very um, handsome or beautiful. Maybe we are uh, very smart. And so we don't want to intimidate other people. Even if we're consciously not thinking about that, that's something our subconscious mind is thinking about. So it's something important to address. So remember, a good way to stop this is to start being aware. And once you start to be aware, awareness is the number one step because then you can be, um, you can start to change it. Next time you come up to a situation like that, Really think about it before you act. You know, think before you act. And now that you know that you're probably going to act in that way, you can choose a different action. You can choose to be more serious in a serious situation. You can choose to do these things. So the, 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 the trick is to be conscious of your subconscious in a way, which is kind of funny because a subconscious means like below our consciousness. But once you under, start to understand the subconscious, that's where you can kind of, that's where you can kind of see how it works, right? Because the subconscious member, like I said, its main goal is to help us keep us safe. So um, think about, and it does that by trying to fit in. So think about how you're trying to fit in. Is it actually leading you towards the life you want or farther away from it? And what can you do differently? What actions can you take? What things can you tell yourself so you start moving towards the life that you do want? You know, anyways, um, I hope you guys learned a little bit about that, that Joker class clown, self-sabotage personality type. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a like, please subscribe. That really does help. Give it a comment. Um, you know, these, these things do boost my algorithms and help these videos get out to as many people as possible, which is my goal. I want to help as many people as possible. So if you are sharing this, if, if you found it helpful at all, please just give it a like or subscribe and um, comment on it, guys. And, you know, feel free to reach out to me um, either through email with questions. If you want me to do a specific episode on my podcast about a topic, let me know. I'll be happy to tailor a episode to, to um, what you want, would like me to talk about. Um, we can also work one on one together. Um, I find it's very effective in overcoming self-sabotage. You know, I can teach you everything about understanding the subconscious mind, which is super important if we want to be able to overcome self-sabotage. I can give you the ticks, the trips, uh, the sorry, the tricks and techniques that you can use to reprogram your subconscious mind, uh, essentially to let go of those old childlike behaviors and start moving towards um, your new adult life, moving towards um, a life where you're thriving and not just surviving. I want that for you. I want that for as many people as possible. And you guys can do it. You know, everyone, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. 
what you have exper experienced in life, we're all able to overcome self-sabotage. So, um, you know, start now, believe in yourself and, you know, just start consciously being aware of what you're doing, guys. That's the number one takeaway I want you guys to take away from this. All have a fantastic day and thank you for listening.